Yeah, hi everyone. I hope you had a nice weekend. So today is the last time I want to dedicate a whole lecture to just yeah techniques for improving generalization performance in neural networks. So in the upcoming lectures, I will yeah talk about new neural network architectures, for instance, uh, convolutional networks, recurrent neural networks, um, autoencoders, generative, adver generative adversarial networks, um, transformers, and so forth. So yeah, uh, today is really the last time we will just talk about improving generalization performance. And in particular, the topics I have in mind are yeah, uh, optimization related. So there's one topic called learning rate schedulers. So it's how we can improve uh, stochastic gradient descent learning by decreasing the learning rate over time during the course of training. And the other topic is yeah, replacing stochastic gradient descent by modified versions of stochastic gradient descent. For instance, there is a momentum term that we can add, and there's also something called uh, adaptive learning rates. So we will uh, learn about an algorithm called ADAM, which combines adaptive learning rates and momentum to yeah, uh, make learning, I would say, easier. So you have to do less fiddling with hyperparameters, but also um, it can converge faster. So uh, I should say though, everything we talked about so far in terms of these tricks like batch norm, dropout and so forth, uh, activation functions, today the optimization algorithms, they also apply to all the architectures we are going to cover in future lectures. So it's all kind of relevant. I thought it's just like, uh, yeah, nice to get that out of the way. And then when you learn about new architectures, you are already familiar with these tricks and you don't have to think about um, what these different terms mean when I show you some implementations of those that make use of these tricks. So with that, um, yeah, let's get started. And yeah, and by the way, if you're watching this on Wednesday also, yeah, happy Sen Pratex Day. Yeah, in the past couple of weeks, we already covered a bunch of topics related to improving neural network training. For example, we talked about regularization to reduce overfitting. Uh, examples of that included L2 regularization, what we call also weight decay, or yeah, dropout. And then last week we discussed uh, how we normalize our inputs and hidden layer activations. And for instance, yeah, the input standardization and batch normalization. And there were some other tricks like weight initialization schemes like Xavier Glorod and Kaming He, which can also improve neural network training. So in this lecture, we will yeah, discuss tricks related to the optimization algorithm. So there will be a section on the learning rate decay, momentum learning and adaptive learning. I should say these are all techniques that concern yeah, first order methods for optimization, stochastic gradient descent. So they are essentially all modifications of stochastic gradient descent. If you are familiar with yeah, more advanced optimization techniques, you may wonder why we don't talk about second order methods. For example, if you consider the Hessian matrix and um, yeah, the partial, the second order partial derivatives. So the reason is, uh, yeah, people, many people tried uh, using those techniques, but it just turns out they don't work very well in practice. They're either way too expensive, but also don't really uh, result in faster training in terms of your epochs and um, better performance. So usually, uh, even maybe if you find that it requires fewer epochs, these methods are computationally still so expensive that you don't gain anything by using second order methods. Or at least I haven't seen uh, up to this day a uh, convincing uh, yeah, method that really is widely used in practice. But maybe, I mean, never never say never. So it doesn't mean there won't be any technique in, in the future that may work well. It's just like that we don't have them yet. So the topics we are going to cover today are these six. So first I want to talk about learning rate decay. So a very simple topic uh, concerning the learning rate and yeah, reducing it over the course of training to reduce the noise in stochastic gradient descent. I will show you then how we can do that in PyTorch. And then we will talk about a momentum term that we can add to our uh, gradients to yeah, help accelerate gradient descent in the right moments and slow it down in other moments or steer it better in that way. Um, yeah, there's also a topic of adaptive learning rates. So adaptive learning rates 
especially coupled with momentum, are commonly used nowadays. Uh, there's one algorithm called Adam, which is probably the most widely used optimization algorithm. I use it all the time because it works very well out of the box. You can good, get good results with stochastic gradient descent um, and momentum too, but in my experience at least, it requires more hyperparameter searching over the learning rate and Adam is usually more robust and works often better out of the box. It, it requires less work in a sense. I will then show you how we can use these algorithms in Python. And um, there are also so many other yeah, uh, algorithms uh, besides, let's say, Adam and Momentum that have been emerging in the recent years. I have a huge list of these topics uh, that I find also sometimes relatively interesting where I do some reading here and there about the uh, yeah, latest trends. So I will make a separate video uh, outlining some of these yeah, advanced studying topics. So you don't have to, yeah, you won't have to know these things in detail, but for those who are interested to uh, in reading a little bit more, let's say beyond the scope of the class, I will just include some references here that you may want to check out in the future and uh, on your own, for example. All right, so let's get started then with the first topic, learning rate decay. 